Hey everybody, Rhonda Giraffa here, and in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to use PowerPoint to uh, put either ghost images or watermarks or just text on uh, either your pictures, your graphics, uh, any type of artwork that you want to claim as your own, as long as they are your own. And uh, you can put your copyright symbol on there. You can uh, put uh, things back to your website, your URL back to your website's domain name, or uh, you know, just put your name on it, whatever you want to do here. So what we're going to do is, straight away here, we're going to get into PowerPoint. We're going to open that up. And uh, as soon as PowerPoint opens up, oopsie, I got my Camtasia attached to this, uh, what you'll do is you'll hit File, and then you're going to click on New. And then Blank Presentation is the best Thing to work on so now we will click create and once you get here you don't really want this noise in here so you'll go to layout and then blank and now we have a blank canvas so uh, let's say we want to take a picture that we have taken and um, you know we want to make sure that uh, the right person gets credit for it so we're going to click insert up here we're going to click on picture and you'll see here that you're going to uh, it usually automatically goes straight into pictures, but I'm going to select documents. I've got a lot of folders here, so bear with me as I get through them all. Uh, let's see, we will go, let's go with uh, these guys. Do a lot of artwork. So push pop containers. Um, let's see, what do we want to do? Let's get some images. Keep everything in folders, guys. It's uh, you know, just kind of something you want to do. <laughs> and let's do, let's just do this one. Okay, it's a nice image. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this image and now we're going to create some text on it. Okay, and the way that you do that is, let's do this. You're going to make sure you're over here. Click on your home page. Okay, there's tons of stuff you can do in PowerPoint gang, but we're just going to show you how to do this real quick. So you'll click up here and it's your text box. Okay. And you'll come down here, wherever you want to put text on your uh, image is fine. And then you'll see you've got a blinking cursor right here. And this is where you will start typing in your text. So we know that this image belongs to, um, it belongs to pushpopcontainers.com. So we're going to do that. Push pop containers.com. Okay, so we have this here. It's not big enough. We really want it to pop out, right? So we'll go ahead and select a color, something that looks cool. That white's not going to work because we got a little bit of a white background. Let's do, we want something that pops, right? Pops, get it? <laughs> I didn't really mean for it to come out that way, but it did. Let's go with a nice, beautiful yellow on this one. And um, I think it's too small, so I'm going to go here. And this is, uh, you know, your font size. Um, that looks pretty fair. And let's go ahead and just bring it down a little bit. You want this to go wherever you think it's going to serve the image best. You can put a smack dab across the front of it in the ghost image if you want to. Um, Again, we're not, I'm not getting a good enough feel on this. I'm going to make sure those colors really come through. This might not have been the best picture to do this with, but you're going to get the idea, right? Let's see. I don't even like that. Yeah, I should have had this figured out before I did this tutorial, but see, I mean, now you're going to see that it's, um, you know, a little bit of trial and error on everything we do. Let's go ahead and keep that and let's put it up at the top for these guys. Up here. Eh, that's showing pretty good. We do want it to show better, but here's one way that you can do that, that you can accomplish it. I kind of like to have clean lines on a lot of stuff. If you want to, you can do uh, quick styles and we can bubble this out. Okay, so here's your quick styles bar. As long as you are in something, it will bubble it out for you. Ooh, that looks kind of nice, huh? So we want to go, 
See, now I'll start getting into all uh, graphic time type of stuff and want everything to pop really good. It's just the kind of gal I am. You get the idea, right? So let's do this. We'll just bring it back down here. Okay, so that shows pretty well. Now that we've got that nice little green bubble effect, remember, quick styles. It's very cool to use. I want that color to pop a little bit more. There we go. Okay, now I've got a not just a, a you know piece of text on here, but I've got text with some style behind it too. All right, so how is it now that we create this as a picture? Well, what you need to do next to make sure that this is grouped together is you're going to hit Control A, and you'll see as soon as I hit Control A on my keyboard, uh, it grabbed this image and it grabbed this image as well. Okay, and once you do that, you're going to go to the Drawing Tools. It's not the Picture Tools, the Drawing Tools. You'll click on Format. You'll see Group. You're going to hit this and Group. There's tons more stuff to do in PowerPoint, but again, I'm just doing this to let you see how to do this kind of stuff. All right, we've got it grouped together now, okay? So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click, scroll down here, save as picture. I hope you can see that in here. There's a save as picture thing. So we're gonna save it as a picture. Um, I usually save stuff as PNG files, you can save it as a JPEG also. Let's go ahead and just JPEG this one. So now it's a JPEG file interchange format we're going to name it, um, this is a Trust Leches. Push Pop Cake. We'll do that. Okay, Trust Leches Push Pop Cake. Uh, it's going to go straight into pictures. Let's go ahead and huh, I'll leave it in picture. No, let's put it on the desktop for ease of access. And now that is saved. Okay, you can save this PowerPoint. Um, piece of artwork if you want to. That means you can come back and noodle around with it if you want. You don't have to. Um, I'm going to ditch it because I probably won't use it again. Got the picture. I'm happy with it. And here it is. Okay, so now I'm going to double click on this and you will see that the new picture rendered has this on it. Isn't that cool? Okay, um, another thing I like to do is I like to open all of my pictures in Microsoft. Uh, 2010. This is a better editing tool for me. So you'll notice um, this is a very large picture. What if I want to make it smaller? Well, I will resize it. Right now it is a 625 by a 489 uh, image and what I can do with it is click here in percentage and I want it half that size so I'm going to go 50 percent and it changes it into a 313 by a 245 pixel image. There it is. Okay. Now I'm going to, let me move this over so you can see, I'm going to click my uh, file drop down menu, I'm going to click save as, and this way I'll know that this is going to be a smaller one. I'm also going to change the name of this because I don't want to override that larger picture, I want to keep that over that big picture. Um, so we'll just go uh, push pop cake, trust like chase. That's going to change it. It's going to keep it at this size with these pixels, and I will know that that's what it is when I go to grab it. Okay, so we're going to shut this out. When you go to click out of uh, Microsoft Office 2010, I'm glad that happened, um, you're going to see a pop-up, and it'll say there are changes that have not been saved. I'm going to click Don't Save, because if you click Save, it's going to take your original picture and render it to the smaller picture and then you're going to lose your regular size. Okay, so just hit don't save when you do that. It stays regular. And here is the smaller one, smaller version. Very cool. That's how you do it. You can uh, upload it. This is a great size for uh, blog pages and websites and you know whatever you want to do with it. And again, even with this, if you don't like the size of it, you can you know go ahead and um, you know, crop it out if you want to. Edit pictures, crop. Notice there's a little small white space down here that I don't like having. So I'm going to crop that. I'm going to click OK. There. And now it's a little bit more cleaned up. So I'm going to do that same routine again. File, save as. And this time I'm just going to overwrite it.
because I know I don't want that small spot. Already exist. Replacing it with this one. Yep, we're done. Okay, that's how you do it. See that white is gone now. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, leave me comments. Let me know if there's anything else that you want to know how to do in PowerPoint and um, I will be sure and uh, you know make a video on it. Just uh, just ask. Okay, have an awesome, fantastic day.